Hey everybody, so I came up with this all burgundy type of look that I really wanted to try. Um, something for date night, something for like Valentine's Day, something that you can just reuse over and over and over that's really, really simple and not so time consuming. This is a collab with Ariel Cupcake. Thank you, boo. I love you. I really enjoy your videos. Um, I don't know if you knew that I watch your videos, but yeah, girl, finally got the collab done. So um, I will leave a clip of that uh, video of hers right here so you guys can see it. I'll leave the link down below so you guys can go see her video. And um, she just does a lot of makeup videos, a lot of natural hair videos. I love her. She's gorgeous. So anyway, let's get into it. This is going to be a tutorial and I am going to walk you guys through this. So I will talk to you guys later. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm using is my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the shade 6. And I'm using a beauty blender and I'm just dabbing this foundation all over my face. I'm not swiping it, I'm just dabbing it. Next I'm taking LA Girls Pro Conceal in Creamy Beige and I'm going to highlight my face. So under the eyes, over the top lip, my nose, and my chin. Next, I'm taking a damp beauty blender and I'm blending all of the areas that I highlighted. Next, I'm taking Max Studio Fix in NC30. I like to use this to set my highlight. Uh, most of the time, I find the banana powder is just a little too loose. I like that this has um, foundation in it as well and just gives you a nice smooth look. Next, I'm taking Max uh, Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Dark. I like to use this as my contour powder. I find that it's just a lot more smoother and a lot more natural. So for eyebrows, I'm going to be using ELF's Cream Eyeliner in Coffee, and it's just a brown color. It's a dupe for Max, um, one of Max eyeliners, and I like to just fill my eyebrows in and actually go a little bit above my eyebrow when I'm filling them in. Most of the product is at the end of the eyebrow. You won't see me pick up a lot of product when I get to the actual inside. I just like to make it look natural and gradient. So for blush, I'm using Max Animal Instincts. I don't think they sell this anymore, but it is a frost burgundy color. So it's not a matte color. It's not going to give me too much color. So I really, really like this because it gives me like a little natural glow. So moving on to eyes, I'm using Makeup Geeks Bitten. And I'm going to place this above my crease. Um, I don't really have like a definite crease, so I like to make it look like I have one. Next, I'm using ColourPop's eyeshadow, and this is in the shade Porter. And I really, really like this eyeshadow just because it's like sticky, so it's sort of like a cream base. So it just sticks to your eyelid. This also has like a shimmer to it and I think it just makes the eye pop. I'm placing this directly on my eyelid. It does not have to be perfect because we're going to blend this out with that bitten color again. Okay, so we're going back in with bitten and we're going to place this directly in our crease. And we're kind of just blending like that porter and that bitten that we already have on our eyelid. We're just blending that out a little bit so that way there's no like, you know, missing eyeshadow or anything like that. And I'm just blending it. Okay, so now we're going to go back in with bitten and I'm using a small fluffy uh, blending brush. And I'm placing this on the sort of like underneath my waterline and I'm blending that out and I'm going a little bit lower than my waterline as well. I want this to be kind of like a smoky look. 
Okay, y'all, so it's time to get smoky. I'm about to use some black. So this is Corrupt by Makeup Geek, and I'm going to do the exact same thing I did with that bitten, except this time I'm only gonna go halfway. And now we're just gonna use some black eyeliner to line our waterline. All right, it's mascara time. So y'all know the drill. I do my lower lashes and my top lashes. Okay, so for lashes, I'm gonna be using House of Lashes Featherette. But before I even put my lashes on, I'm going to do my liquid liner, which is by NYC Cosmetics. And I'm just going to make sort of like a sexy winged eye. So for all my ladies who have trouble applying their lashes, invest in some tweezers. It will be the easiest thing you ever did. Moving on to lips, I'm going to be using Max Night Moth Lip Liner and I'm just going to basically line my lips. I'm not really filling them in too much. And um, then you'll see me use the Beauty Bakery Liquid Lipstick and this is in Raspberry Tiramisu. And I'm just basically just filling in my lips. So after that you'll see me go back in with Max Night Moth lip liner and of course my son is looking over my shoulder but you'll see me just line my lips and sort of clean them up a little bit. To finalize this look I'm going to be using Saliha's Give Me Glow and this is in the shade Hollywood Glow. And I just really, really love this highlighter. Like, it's life. And it's affordable. It's about 20 bucks. I mean, it's affordable to me considering, you know, high end highlighters are like $30, $40. But yeah. So, anyway, um, I'm going to go back into it with um, just a little crease brush. And I'm just going to highlight the underneath of my eyebrows. Okay, so now that we're glowing, it's time to let my hair down. This is the Freetress Equal uh, Sapphire Whole Lace Wig, and it's just great. I love to grab this wig when I'm doing makeup tutorials, but um, anyway, super affordable. And that's the look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial and collab with Ariel Cupcake. So I will talk to you guys later.